Imagine an AI tool that provides precise cited answers, no hallucinations, just facts. Adobe Acrobat AI Assistant centralizes your documents, making it easy to create everything from social media posts to course modules. In this video, you'll discover 20 ways to streamline your workflow and boost productivity with practical prompt ideas. Stay with me. Today, I'm excited to show you how Adobe Acrobat AI Assistant can enhance the way that you communicate with your documents and create content. I'm partnering with Adobe Acrobat on this video, but I am genuinely blown away with how great this new feature is. Acrobat already has millions of monthly active users. So I'm really pumped by how many people will benefit from these new AI powered features, allowing you to be incredibly precise with sources cited and minimal risk of hallucinations or instances where AI fabricates information. Plus it's available on mobile and with voice prompts, ensuring that you can work efficiently on the go. I'll show you. Help me summarize this annual report for my manager to read in less than a minute. And just like that, I've got the summary that I requested, including citations that are actually hyperlinks. So let me click on them, for example. And once clicked, it'll bring me to those specific spots in the annual report. This first example, demoing from mobile, I'm gonna switch back to my desktop for these next ones. So you've seen a glimpse of what AI Assistant can do and from mobile, we're back on desktop. And I wanna try adding a second source of content here. So we're gonna actually upload a presentation slide deck We'll give that a second to process the document. Note that the processing time will likely depend on how long and complex your files are. Once they've been processed, you'll see them here. And now we can actually ask a question that will apply to all of the documents that we've uploaded. So our second prompt is, who are the key people quoted in these documents and what are their roles? And there we go. We've got a list of everyone that is quoted in these documents and their roles summarized just as we asked. Let me give you one more prompt idea along these lines. Let's ask it to summarize the action items of both documents. And there you go, in just a few seconds, we've got our action items. You've seen in action how AI Assistant can help summarize. Well, we are just getting started. Next, let's use AI Assistant to analyze. This feature helps you dive deep into your documents, comparing data and extracting insights effortlessly. Okay, for this next set of examples, I've got a marketing analysis PDF. Up to this point, we've worked only with PDFs, but let me show you when I click here, add files, I'm actually gonna upload a Microsoft Word file, which works in Acrobat. We'll give it a second here to process the file. We can see our uploaded files up here, and now we'll try some prompts that will work across documents. Since we're using AI Assistant to complement our analysis efforts, let's try something like this. What are the impacts of trends over the long term? And there we have our answers, again with citations that we can jump to in any of the documents that we've uploaded in a single click. Now feels like a good time to mention that AI Assistant shouldn't be doing the thinking for you, but certainly it can complement your efforts to make an analysis. Given the speed at which AI can compute information, this is very, very helpful. How about something like this? Compare the market analysis with the trend report and highlight the main differences. So we'll compare and contrast. And there we go, we have our differences and points of comparison numbered out for us. One more prompt idea when it comes to analysis. What are the key findings in the trend report for this market? Now this might look like a mistake, but I actually asked it a question that I knew it didn't have information on. And I wanted to show you that unlike other AI tools, it's not gonna make something up. I love this about AI Assistant. It actually says, apologies, but I'm not able to find this key information in the trend report. That is so, so important. Giving you trust as the creator to know that it's only giving you output based on the input you provided it. Not only that, but it also gives you a suggestion on an angle for a question that you might want to ask it. So let's use that for inspiration. So instead, I'll ask it, what are the key best practices and insights in this document? And there we have an answer with a numbered list on exactly what it was we were looking for. A list of the best practices. Amazing. Okay, let's move on to brainstorm. This category is perfect for generating ideas and strategies. Now, when you think about an annual report and a financial report, you probably don't think about creativity, but that's where AI Assistant is gonna help us through the process of brainstorming. Really think about this like having a chat with your documents, a little conversation. So I might try a prompt like this. If you were the CEO, what are the three questions you would ask about this company report? So this is like a little bit of role play. 
And just like that, we have three great questions. What are the key factors driving the company's growth? How does the company's financial performance in 2023 compare to targets? And what are the strategic initiatives and areas of focus for driving future growth? Those sound like three great questions to me to be asking a CEO. Now let's get even more creative, maybe in the context of content marketing. Something like, give me some potential webinar ideas based on this company report. Fantastic. A handful of ideas, again with citations sorted on where these ideas actually came from. I love it. And let's try one more. Generate three blog topic ideas I can use based on the financial statement. So we'll call out that second document specifically. Fantastic. We have our three ideas. And one thing I haven't pointed out yet that you're going to love is the ability to quickly copy this and be able to paste this into an email or anywhere else where I might be storing or compiling these ideas that I want to share with my boss or manager. Single click, copy, and paste it wherever you need it. Now let's edit. AI Assistant can help you refine your content and make it more impactful and professional. Editing is a really exciting way to use AI Assistant in Acrobat. You can see we've uploaded a guidelines and a best practices document. Up to this point, I've used fairly long documents. I thought for this quick example, I use short ones. These are each just two pages long, but even then there's so many things you can do like changing tone, changing formatting, dictating length. Let me show you this in action. Let's try a prompt like this. Simplify the best practices into a numbered list. And there we have our best practices in a numbered list with citations. Next, let's try something like rephrasing the introduction to make it sound friendlier. And there we have an introduction that is rephrased to sound friendlier, exactly what we asked for. Let's try one more in the realm of editing. Let's try converting the conclusion from a summary to a call to action. So not only can we simplify, rephrase, we can also revise content. Once again, we have our newly rewritten conclusion that we could copy here and paste into the working document. Thank you, AI Assistant. Next, the category I like to call Create. Use AI Assistant to generate new content from sales tips to email highlights. Now for these next set of prompts, we're gonna use both a sales strategy doc and a meeting transcript together. Using these documents, let's generate a tip sheet for our sales team to use based on the sales strategy document. Again, not only are we having a conversation with our documents, but we can lean on to actually create content that I can simply copy and paste into a document here and use it as it is. Remember, the facts that you are getting are all cited, so if I have any questions or I want to double check the information it's giving me, if I want to see where it's coming from, I simply click those links. Let's try another example of creating. How about something like write an email in a professional tone that highlights the five main takeaways from our meeting notes? Love it. By asking it to write an email, it gives us even a subject line here, as well as the body of an email that I can once again copy and paste and modify accordingly. It's likely you'll want to make changes, but this gets you to that end result so much faster compared to starting from scratch. Think of AI Assistant here as a partner to someone taking an active role in shaping and building their work. For this last example, let's draft a Slack message that summarizes the findings in this sales strategy report for my team. And let's specify that we want to keep it to five sentences. There we go, not only an email, but in this case, a Slack message that I can copy and paste over. Okay, let's finish up with a few prompts that I'm not gonna categorize, but they're still useful in showcasing some of the unique ways that you can use AI Assistant, like with a meeting transcript or even sentiment analysis on a document. For our last set of prompts and examples, I'm gonna upload one more document, which is going to be a meeting agenda. We'll give that a second to upload and process. Now this next example is not necessarily a prompt, but it's another feature that we can use in Adobe Acrobat, powered by AI, which is generative summary. I love this built-in feature, which does exactly that. It offers a summary of the document that I've uploaded, in this case, a meeting transcript. How useful to see at a glance, highlights, and all the specifics of what was discussed in this meeting, as well as next steps, which I can literally copy and paste over to my team in an email or anywhere I might want to store this information. So that's not necessarily a prompt, but it's this additional feature in Acrobat, which is called Generative Summary. You can access this by clicking the icon over here on the right-hand side. Let's go back to AI Assistant for our last set of prompts. From our meeting transcript, let's ask AI Assistant to create a warm and engaging email based on this meeting transcript. 
We tried this previously with a PDF report, but I wanted to show you that this is possible with meeting transcripts. How awesome. Next, I'm gonna hop over to our sales strategy document and I'm gonna ask AI Assistant to detect the sentiment of my sales strategy doc. And there, it's done it. The sentiment of the sales strategy is positive, which is definitely the sentiment I want if I'm sending this over to some stakeholders. Let me show you another interesting way of using AI Assistant. Opening our meeting agenda, I can ask it to reformat this data into a table with specific word count limits if I want. And there we have it, my information formatted in a table just as I asked it. Now for our last example of prompt ideas that I hope that you'll take and inspire for your own business and brand, we're going to ask AI Assistant to summarize findings for a client presentation, ensuring that it's business professional. So getting here a little more complex with our prompt. And just like that, we've got our findings summarized. I hope that you've seen how AI Assistant can save you so much time. It's not necessarily there to do the thinking for you, but it's there to think with you. It's there to complement the tasks that you have, to save you time and hopefully make your life and workflow a little bit easier, or maybe a lot easier. I know it's done that for me. Oof, there you go. 20 ways to leverage Adobe Acrobat AI Assistant to boost your productivity and streamline your workflow. From summarizing complex documents to generating creative content, AI Assistant will become your go-to tool. Remember that it is available on mobile with voice prompts, ensuring that you can work efficiently wherever you are, plus your privacy and data security are prioritized with outputs solely on the information that you provide. I'm linking to Adobe Acrobat AI Assistant in the description below. Definitely check this out, give it a try for yourself. If you've got any lingering questions, comment below. Let's keep the conversation going on down there. I respond to those personally. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. That helps other people discover these videos, which we work hard to create for you. And subscribe for more of my videos on branding, positioning, building, and promoting your brand. Next, I'm sharing a few others that I think you'll be interested in. I'm Phil Palin. Thanks for watching those coming up next.